in torum online you have one objective that is kill your target but have you ever wondered that killing is wrong and i don't want to do that i am not a bad person however since all the bosses have to die in order to beat mq so presenting ths mark build where you don't have to dirty your own hands this was made possible with the help of may dark rose he is a fellow content creator and our beloved guildy i have got a request regarding the dps bodyguard mark build so i am using a bare hand tank for demonstration as you can see all the attacks are done by our mercenary if you don't believe you can just check the icon there it's a mercenary symbol we suggest i am not using a player but a mercenary that is killing all the bosses these are some of the hardest bosses available in torum and you can easily beat them on easy mode with this mark this mercenary focuses on strength and vitality strength give you high attack and vitality give you high health points oh my god wow let's focus on basic start distribution wait wait a sec Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Well, me is an OG player. Let's come back to the build. As you can see, we are mostly focusing on strength and vitality for high attack power and high HP. Regarding the equipments and avatars, uh, this is a custom made EHS. You can also make it. It is quite easy to make. then comes the trickster arm this is also a 2s arm it raises attack percent strength and hp percent then comes the halloween umbrella it's quite expensive you can get other ones too the ring is also very much expensive i don't know if i can ever get it dala 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 ching ching bling bling got the chatter you ain't talking money then you talking no matter ching ching bling bling Regarding the skills and star gems used, I am mostly focusing on hard hit, sword mastery, play dead, and first aid. Recovery is not so important. Then, apart from that, you need these passive skills, HP passive skills. This will raise your HP during combat and outside the combat. HP boost is essential as it increases your max HP. Then comes sword mastery. We are using star gems. Take it five. Quick slash is also five. Then comes the sword technique. Use it ten because you don't have any star gems, and star gem is expensive. This is the main DPS skill, Buster Blade. Then apart from that, we have Meteor Breaker. This is also an important DPS skill of your mark. Then comes Front Line. These are the new Partisan skill. It raises the HP, and I like it very much. Then comes the Sukuchi. This is for dashing. Take it as one. Then comes the Attack Buffs. At everything that attack related buff. just take it take it as 10 whack is 5 no need but you need critical up and intermediating power 10 to raise that attack now comes the long range since we are using buster blade so it may help ak 10 and quick draw 10 for recovering the mp if ever your mark recovers mp finally our build is complete hope you like this build until next time see ya